Did selling on Amazon just get a lot easier? Well, I'm gonna make the case that it has gotten a lot easier and not for the reason that you might think. There is no new AI feature with Amazon. They didn't roll out some new app or some new feature. Nothing has actually changed with Amazon, except in this video, I'm gonna show you a five-step process, a basic five-step process that our team at your AMZ has used with dozens of real brands that own their trademark to go from launch all the way to very scalable profit and some businesses have even exited and sold. Okay, so here's the five-step process at a glance. We have step one, setting up our account. We call that account setup. Step two, retail ready. Step three, set your targets. Step four, gain market share. And step five, expansion and profit. Okay, so zooming into step one, account setup. What is account setup? Well. It's really just before we design anything fancy and design ad campaigns, we need an account. We need the basics. We need to set up just the foundation of the account. And if we kind of double click into that, um, here we can see there's five sub steps to step one. So we need to create our account. We need to enroll in brand registry. We need to just create the listings, not necessarily design them, but just create the listings. We need access to premium A plus content. And then we need a framework for staying in stock. And that's pretty much it for step one. Okay, now, so step two, retail ready. What often happens is we have brands come to us and they immediately wanna jump into ad spend. How much do we need to spend on ads? Do we need to start running? We tell them pause, right? Let's look at your listings. Are you retail ready, right? And if you're launching, it's the first step before ads, right? So we don't wanna, we don't wanna pay for traffic and pay for clicks and send that traffic to a listing that has one image, right? No one's gonna buy that product. One image, no reviews. No one's gonna buy that. So we don't wanna waste that ad spend. So the foundation, the step one, uh, in this case, step two, is we want to get retail ready. Now, what does that entail? That entails, we need intuitive variation. So if you have, let's just say you have, um, 30 parent products and they each have two variations so 60 total child listings we want to make sure that we're simplifying it and maybe having 30 parents instead of you know three parents with like 20 variations on each listing it's going to be too confusing to the customer so we want to make sure we intuitively organize our product catalog and make those variation structures within amazon now that's going to guide our listing design and how we design these different parent products and the variations. So we're going to design our listings. We're going to design our brand store. We're going to make our first FBA shipment, or if you are already selling on Amazon, just make sure that you're replenishing your inventory. And we want to make sure we have at least 30 reviews at a four plus star rating over four stars. Um, we don't want to send paid traffic to a listing that has confusing variations, bad listing design, no brand store, um, no inventory, you, you can't send traffic there. Uh, or no reviews or one or two or three reviews. We want to first be retail ready. And, and these are the five steps for accomplishing that. Now we're retail ready. And you might be thinking, okay, cool. Now we can run paid ads and send traffic. Not yet. We have a, we have a short step three, set your targets, where we want to understand what is our goal, right? Do we want aggressive growth? Do we want sustainable growth? Or do we really just want to focus on profit, right? Those are kind of the three goals. And I'll show you a little visualization here of what that looks like. Okay, so here we have our three potential goals visualized. So aggressive growth, sustainable growth, and a focus on profit. As you go from aggressive growth to focus on profit, the rate of growth goes down. And why is that? Well, the more you reinvest your profit into advertising, the faster you're gonna grow. So if you have a focus on profit and you wanna maintain a 20 to 40 or 20 to 50% margin, depending on your product, you're not gonna be reinvesting that money into advertising, new targeting, new audiences. So you're gonna have less exposure and that's okay if that's your goal, right? But if you want to aggressively grow your revenue, right? Maybe you're launching, maybe you're just trying to get your revenue high. You might be running at break even. You might be running at a 0% profit margin because you're reinvesting all of your profit back into advertising. 
and potential, potentially adding additional investments. So maybe you're break even and you're throwing another thousand, another 5,000 on top of your ad spend uh, in addition. Sustainable growth is you're keeping some profit in the business. You're keeping five to 10% of your um, profit in the business. Everything else is being reinvested into ads so that you can grow, but you can grow profitably. So we wanted to find our goal and that's gonna help guide kind of some realistic expectations for what you know, what are we gonna do with our ad strategy, right? First, we need to understand our goal, and then our goal is gonna help drive metrics. Okay, so in step three, you can see there's three sub-steps. Define your goals we just talked about. Define your metrics. Again, um, there's different metrics based on what your goals are. So if, you're, you know, if your goal is to focus on profit, you might be looking at different metrics than if your goal is to aggressively grow revenue. First, define your goal, define your metrics, and then once you know the metrics that you need for your specific goals, we need a method for tracking those metrics. So having a dashboard, paying for a service that helps track those metrics automatically is going to be super useful as you go into step four and step five. Okay, now looking at step four, gain market share. So we have our listings optimized where we are retail ready with reviews, we have inventory, we have a brand store, and we know our targets, right? We've set our goal, we know our metrics, and we're tracking those metrics. It's time to start spending on ads. This is the exciting part. Now, gain market share is all about capturing existing demand, right? You have a product, everything's optimized. People are already searching for similar products. You already have a market that might be selling 10 million a month, 100 million a month. People are searching and buying. You just wanna capture some of that market share. You wanna gain some traction. You wanna get some profit so that you can reinvest that growth back into advertising and just start to capture the existing market. You can think of step four in three sub-steps. So get more customers to see your product, get more customers to click on your product, and get more of the people that click on your product and land on your listing to buy your product. And finally, we have step five, expansion and profit. So in this milestone, we are going to increase our profit margin and also the total profit by expanding the reach, increasing the customer lifetime value, and lowering your costs. Let's look at what the sub-steps are for this step five. Okay, so here we can see step five broken out into its five sub-steps. Uh, we wanna increase the average order value of the customer. We wanna increase the repeat order rate. We wanna increase the total return on ad spend. We wanna lower storage costs, lower fulfillment costs, and lower the refund rate. So average order value is just how much they spend when they go to Amazon and they visit your store, right? Uh, repeat order rate is how frequently they are coming back. So are they, are they buying once a month? Are they buying once a week? Are they buying once a year? We wanna get them visiting Amazon and purchasing more frequently. And when they come and purchase, they're buying either at a higher price, they're bundling multiple products, the cart is worth more money. And then increasing the T ROAS is what is the uh, revenue return per dollar of ad spend on total revenue, so not just ad sales. The reason this is so important is in this step, you might be, you know, as you're focusing on profit, you might be trying to get more organic sales. So we want to make sure that every dollar you put into ads is driving ad growth, but also is driving organic sale growth. And then finally, we have lowering storage and fulfillment costs and lowering your refund rate. That's going to be the majority of the costs that you can control. Um, so step five, expansion and profit. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got value, if you liked this content and you like this five-step process, give the video a like. That's great feedback for us. If you have any concerns or comments or questions about this five-step process, leave a comment below. Uh, we'll get back to you. And if you have uh, feedback or recommendations for videos that I can create or that my team can create, comment that below as well. Uh, we will absolutely take into consideration the things that you wanna see. That's We're making this content for you. So if you have an idea, comment it below. And again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.